Okay, good morning you guys. So today is a long waited and much asked for what I eat in a day. Good morning. Are you awake? Is somebody awake? What are we gonna do? <laughs> This morning is a fasted workout. Drink water, start your day with tons and tons of water. I injured myself the day before Thanksgiving. So that was like almost four and a half months ago. Having started lifting again this last week, I have seriously found out that I haven't lost like very much, if any strength. Like I seriously have been putting the same amount on for my benches. My strength is still there. It feels so good. And I seriously think it's because of my diet, like the way Aaron and I live, the way we eat, the way we rest, like seriously getting good rest. I feel like this plant-based diet has seriously sustained me in the right way and have kept me strong and healthy even while I'm injured. So that's my bet. Aaron and I are on a little bit different schedules lately, especially with Max. So she already had her green smoothie. Most days I just have her make a double batch, but today I am gonna make my own. I don't even know what I'm gonna make. Like today I have no plans. I want you to know how easy it is to eat this way. It doesn't take tons and tons of planning or preparation. Like I'm just gonna go for it today. I know I wanted a green smoothie, so I'm gonna make this super simple. Four ingredients, okay, six ingredients. Bananas, pineapple, kale, spinach, a tablespoon of hemp seeds and a scoop of protein. Six ingredients, like, come on, how easy is this? I'm gonna throw a scoop of Sun Warrior protein in. This stuff is seriously good. We've been using it for a couple years, no joke. 27 grams of protein, the BCAAs. It's super clean, super good stuff. I even have non-vegan friends asking me about the Sun Warrior stuff lately. We've got a link below, a discount code. Check it out and I highly recommend you guys get some of this stuff. Okay, how easy was that? It took me about five minutes. I don't need a fancy blender. This is our Nutribullet. You can buy these things for like 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. Super simple, quick, easy, nutritious. This thing I think has like five or 600 calories, at least 20 grams of protein, healthy fats. I'm ready to go. Our magnolia tree is in full bloom right now. And you know what the smell reminds me of? Last year, at this time, took a pregnancy test, spur of the moment, and lo and behold, baby Max was well on his way. Crazy, Never crazy. forget. It's crazy how connected smells are to our memories. Mm. And this is a mighty good one. We found out exactly a year ago that we were going to be having Max. I'm going to be honest, we were a little nervous. We were kind of freaking out a little bit, but he's a blessing, obviously. He's been one of the best things that's ever happened to us, so don't be afraid of life. Okay, because it is Wednesday, I'm filming, Aaron's filming. It is a YouTube day. Wednesdays are typically that. And we are making smoothies. Actually, Aaron's making one, so it's gonna work perfect for my what I eat in a day. We are making smoothie bowls. Well, this is our favorite, favorite smoothie bowl. Pink bubblegum. Pink bubblegum smoothie about to get in my belly. Here is the blended up goodness. This is kind of a mid-morning before lunch snack. And I'm also gonna have some papaya. So Aaron buys papaya, she doesn't love them. I pretty much, like I could eat papaya all day, every day. And there are at least two ripe ones in the fridge. So I'm gonna eat those up with my smoothie bowl and then probably make a late lunch later. Peanut butter is my jam. What do you guys think, peanut butter or almond butter? All right, so this is not a typical lunch. I usually do at least one or two smoothies throughout the day, so this is normal but the papaya is definitely a treat. 
and Aaron brought out the passion fruit. So this is like a super awesome launch. I didn't even know, like I said earlier, I didn't plan this. This is just what we happen to have in the fridge. This is gonna be a good lunch. Are you sleeping, little boy? I am taking a little break from the computer, doing 20 minutes on the treadmill out here in the garage just to stay nimble. So I should probably also tell you that I was born with cerebral palsy. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the channel or not. I think maybe once or twice but it's something that I want to actually talk a little bit more about. It has really only affected the left side of my body. So I have um, a unique rib structure on the left side that you can see and feel. And primarily my left leg um, is about a half an inch shorter. I have um, kind of a twisted gait. My, po my toes want to point. And as a result, I had to wear casts and braces um, when I was a child and did a ton of physical therapy up to the point. Um, of like age seven or eight probably. Anyway, if you guys would like me to go more into depth on the whole cerebral palsy thing, a little bit of the backstory, leave a comment below. Also, I could do a, like a full stretching video, and nothing, nothing intense, maybe five, 10 minutes, a video on my stretching routine that again, I, I've done since I was a kid basically. Um, I can do that too. So anyway, put it in the comments below if that's something you guys wanna see. Lunch time. How epic does that look? So I said I didn't have a plan. You guys can put this in a bowl and eat it just like some regular scrambled eggs, but I'm super hungry as always. And now that I'm trying to work out, starting to work out again, I need to make my gains. So I'm gonna make this a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna throw a little white rice in that was left over from last night's dinner. And then I'm gonna put it all in a tortilla. Warming the tortilla, you just kind of drop it on top for just a few seconds, maybe 20 or 30 seconds. You gotta hit it with the hot sauce. How good does that look? It took me like probably 10 minutes, no joke. Super easy, protein packed. You could even take this on the go. If you wrap it up, put it in some tin foil, aluminum foil or something, take it on the go. Anyway, it is 358, so officially raw till four, like Aaron and I like to be. Four o'clock, this is my first bite of cooked food for the day. Good to go. Don't do it! <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay, and some dates. I'll probably munch on two or three of these. We just got a whole big pack from, what is it, Earl? Seven hot dates? Seven hot dates. I'm the eighth hot date. Anyway, Max is looking at both of us like we're crazy. Spring has finally sprung. It's nice and warm and beautiful out. Finally, finally, finally. Time to enjoy it. A second sweet treat of the day. Aaron made these dark chocolate crumble treats. I don't even know what you want to call them. It's like gluten-free cereal with dark chocolate, hemp seeds, and coconut. So the reality of life is this. Papa's changing diapers, Papa's folding laundry, and I need to vacuum the floor because between me and Bo, we got lots of hairballs. But anyway, this little guy loves getting a diaper changed and I love doing it because he is absolutely hilarious. Does somebody need a diaper change? Was that a toot? Was that a toot? That was a toot. Yeah. Did you get a diaper change? Bear with me, bear with me. We're never gonna give up. Bear with me, bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me. We're never gonna give up. Bear with me, bear with me. Let's bless this feast. Always trying to steal my greens? Are you taking mama's salad? We have been binge watching this tiny house show that Aaron found. <laughs> 
and I'm thrilled about it. We've been so thinking about selling our house and moving. Tiny house might have to be it. We'll tiny see. house for our tiny baby. Tiny house, tiny baby. How does a family make living in such a small tiny house actually work? Today, we're gonna find out. We've never used this before, but I found this recipe in the spring edition of Forks Over Knives magazine. So we're gonna basically make baked yucca fries and season them accordingly. So this is what they're gonna look like. Dusty so nicely and neatly chopped up these yucca fries. And the first step is to boil them in a pot of boiling water along with baking soda. While you're doing that, preheat your oven to 450 and then we're going to bake them on a baking sheet with some seasoning. Okay, so I've just got our yucca on our parchment here. We're gonna pop this into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and chow down. We usually throw some broccoli, some edamame, something green. Tonight we're having some green beans. Our yucca is boiling, then we're gonna bake it. Lentils are pretty much done. And our sweet potatoes just have a few more minutes to go. Explain to us what it is you're actually talking about right now. Why? What do you mean? What, you want me to tell you the whole story? Yeah. No, it's not right. It's not the right time. Okay, you guys, dinner round one is dished up. I think the yucca turned out, the lentils are amazing. And Erin has some of her cashew cheddar cheese dip that we made the other day. And it's gonna be on the YouTube channel soon. Bo, you got your dinner, didn't you boss? You better go eat it. Okay, we've got thunderstorms. That means Bo basically sleeps upstairs because somebody's afraid. Eat, move, rest, your best, guys. <laughs> Are you upset? We made our way to the shoreline. We got 